Hey superstars, it's your best friend Scott, and if you missed the last video, I talked about how embarrassed I am about not having made an art video in six months. So last weekend, I sat down and drew some marker doodles for all three of my four-year anniversary brouhaha winners. This is the second of those three. I'm drawing Ryan Sandberg for Matty Ice Cards. So I will admit I don't know Matt all that well. He did a video with my buddy Doug from Don't Talk to Robots and one of the best part of doing VRs or hosting VRs is getting to meet new best friends and any friend of Doug is a friend of mine. Uh, Maddie collects Cubs, Colts and Pacers and I've mentioned this a few times but growing up I was a big Cubs fan, especially Sandberg. I still like my Indians, you know, but honestly they weren't very good in the late 80s, early 90s and Rhino was the man. Funny thing is that even though I have this strong connection to Sandberg and he's such a good signer, I have never sent through him through the mail. Well, I did once as a kid and he never responded. Maybe I'm still holding out hope for that one. My first successful TTM was Mark Grace though. I think maybe I was a little nervous about drawing my childhood hero. I was a little anxious about getting it just right, you know? When I was a wee lad, I remember showing off my cards to my Auntie Janet, who could have probably cared less, but I did show her some Sandberg cards and she commented on what a handsome fella he was, and that makes me think of the Chuck Berry song. Two, three, the count, with nobody on, he had a high fly into the stand. Round and third, he was heading for home, it was a brown-eyed handsome man that won the game, it was a brown-eyed handsome man. I'm not sure why I shared that little tidbit, not super interesting, and I'm definitely no Chuck Berry, but just something I remember. The Rhino makes me reminisce like that, I can't help it. Since I haven't drawn any of these cartoony doodles in a while, I've decided to draw some inspiration from the cartoons on the backs of Topps cards from the 60s. That's actually why I made Sandberg so big and buff here, but those little baseball cartoons are super cool. And as with the case for 1961, probably even cooler than the front of the card. In fact, every year of Topps card in the 60s featured cool little drawings on the back. 1964 had those little scratch off backs that revealed the cartoon. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I used to really like the 64 design overall, but now, I'm not so sure, you know, you gotta deface the card to see the cartoon. And I've completely gone off the rails again here. I'm sorry. There's Mr. Rhino, very pleased with how this one came out and that I've conquered my weird little fear of drawing him and his uh, handsome chin. Maddie, this one is in the mail on its way to you. Hope you dig it. Thank you again for participating in the brouhaha. And as always, thank you guys for watching and keep an eye out for the other two brouhaha winner doodles. Love your hobby, guys, by making it unique to you.